Hi friends! Today is going to be my TBR for the month of April. <laughs> April I am planning to read a lot less books than I read in February or March. Um, part of that due to Camp NaNoWriMo and my goal for that. Also part of that being I want to pick up some of the books that have been on my TBR that I've maybe passed over a little bit because they were uh, longer or more involved or I have this thing where I'm like the more books I read the better. But also, when I do that, I tend to pick up smaller books. So I look over these larger books that I really want to get to because I'm trying to prioritize the smaller books. Now, later this month when you see the TBR takedown for March, you'll understand why I'm feeling okay about working on some larger books and not maybe focusing so much on the number. I figure because I'm already expecting to have lower numbers due to camp, I might as well throw in the larger books as well and just do it all at once and maybe this month I'll only read five books maybe six instead of the 15 16 I've been reading the last couple of months let's talk about what I plan to read this month the first book is the group book for the Avengers initiative reading challenge I have been doing that since the beginning of the year I will link one of the girls uh, intro videos down below if you would like more information on that it is a year-long reading challenge um, that has to do with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There's a lot of details to it. So again, I will link one of the girls down below. Um, it's not too late to join. If you'd like to join, you can join at any time. The book for this month is Once in Future, which is, I believe, by Alex E. Harrow. So I will be reading that one. I know that that one, I believe, is over 500 pages. A chunker, for sure. If you were here last month, you've seen this one already. A uh, Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. I still have not read this one yet. I need to get to this one as well. This book follows Malik and Karina. Malik is a young boy who has younger sisters. He's trying to find them a better life. He goes to move into the city where he can, thinks he can find that better life for them. And on entrance into the city, one of his youngest sisters is kidnapped. He's essentially told that in order for him to get the, his sister back, that he needs to kill Karina, who is the princess of this kingdom. Karina is wanting to bring I believe her mother back to life and there's this magical person who has told her that she can do that. What they need is the heart of a king so she decides to have this contest in order to find a man to marry her so that he can become king. So Malik enters the contest thinking that he can get closer to her so he's gonna kill her and she's thinking he's gonna get a king and she's gonna kill him and then I think they have a relationship. So there's that. We've also talked about this one before, but in January's TBR video, um, we need to talk about it again. Uh, Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. My goal for the year in January was to read this with the group that is reading it. Um, I'm in a Discord server, a group of people that are reading this. And my goal was to read with them. I think they're reading like one or two chapters a week. And I just haven't been keeping up with it. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and read the first book this month if I can. I'm on page 52 and the first book is 407 pages. So I think I'm just going to try to keep reading this uh, this month and hopefully get the first book done this month. Then participate in the discussions but I don't remember to sit down and read it. So that's kind of my problem at this point. So I feel like if I read the first part this quarter and then the next part next quarter and then the next part the following quarter then I should always be ahead but I can still participate in the group chats that we have on the discord server so that's my plan for that. I don't figure I need to tell you what Lord of the Rings is about. We'll talk about two more books you probably don't need to be told about. Uh, the first of which is Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. I have had this on my shelf since last year. Really wanted to pick it up but I always pass it over because it is so large and because I have been very intimidated by this book. Why? I don't know but I am so I just keep passing it over. This is the month that I'm going to read it. Along with that in a similar vein a very hyped book that I just am terrified to read. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I've only read one Schwab book. That's a lie. I was gonna say I've only read one Schwab book before and I haven't liked it but that's not true. I read A Darker Shade of Magic and I didn't love it but I have read the Cassidy Blake series. I love the Cassidy Blake series. Am I gonna love this? I don't know. I do plan to reread A Darker Shade of Magic later and then read the whole series. I feel like I might have just been in a slumpy reading time when I read A Darker Shade of Magic because thinking back on it I'm like I should have loved it. So why didn't I love it? So I'm gonna reread that and think that maybe my life 
is what was causing that book to not be loved, but that's a whole other thing for a whole other day. So yeah, Addie. And then the final beast on my TBR for April is going to be Lore by Alexander Bracken. I have not read a Bracken before. I do own a few, but I haven't read any, which is weird because I really like Alexander Bracken. Like I follow her on social media. I enjoy watching her clips of her and Tenny. And so like, you would think that I would be reading her books, but I haven't been, so that's kind of weird. Lore, I think, is like a Medusa-ish retelling uh, that basically involves a girl whose family, I think, has to, like, they're part of a hunt every so many years, and she's trying to run from it, and I, I don't know the details. I was told it's a light Medusa retelling. I'm obsessed with Medusa. So this book as well. One thing I do want to mention, usually in my TBR videos, um, we talk about my Patreon, which if you don't know, I do have a Patreon is linked down below if you'd like to check it out, where we do a group book every month and then one of my top tier patrons picks a book off of my TBR for me to read. I actually did a skip month for March because I didn't get any of my Patreon content out um, with the Worldwide write -a it just didn't happen. So I didn't get the book read. I, I did read the book that Kate picked for me to read, but I DNF'd it. So um, I didn't pick a new one for this month. I The group book is The a Song of Wraiths and Ruin. Uh, so we're still working on that. Haven't had the group chat for last month's book because I'm a loser. Still need to do that. Last month was a big mess. Uh, but I am so happy that the write thon went as well as it did, that we had so many participants, um, that we were able to get the Discord up and running, in large part thanks to Sam. I, I, I did a skip month on the patron because I just felt like it was kind of rude to have people paying for content that they weren't getting. And because we weren't able to really get through anything last month, I rolled everything over into April. So um, that's why this book is still on the TBR and why we haven't read it yet and why I didn't discuss a book that we're going to be reading for the Patreon account. Okay, so these are the books that I will hopefully be reading in April. And as I said, uh, hopefully I can get to all of these and I'm happy to be reading fewer books this month and hopefully prioritizing these over other things. I did just get my hold on Eve Brown. What is the Eve Brown? Is it Act Your Age Eve Brown? Whichever Talia Hibbert book it is. My my audiobook hold just came through from the library so I'll be reading that as well but it's, just, it's not part of this big books that I need to read thing or books that I'm behind on. I probably wouldn't be picking it up this month if it didn't come through from the library but it did so I'm gonna go ahead and read that as well. That is all for, I have for today. I post reading, writing book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you click that subscribe button and notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!